Guys, today I want to talk about the combination for, for striking that I think is the most important, whether it's boxing, kickboxing, MMA. Obviously, the rule set you're competing in makes a difference, but the particular combination I'm going to show, I think it uh, is the best you can use regardless. And it's a basic jab cross, okay? For someone like myself who's six foot six, I'm going to use the jab cross to keep my opponent at the edge of my punches, okay? I'm going to use it to keep distance. Now, I can keep distance and just box them, or I can use the one two to set up kick attacks depending if I'm competing in kickboxing, okay? Now, in his case, he's a shorter fighter, he can use the same combination, but in the opposite way I'm using mine. I'm using mine to keep him away. He can use the one-two with me to close distance and get in to where he's gonna do damage. He's gonna come in, do damage to the body and stuff like that. So he's gonna come in, use his one-two to come in, and see now he's working the body. If he wants to clinch, that's an option too, okay? Now on the MMA end of it, if I'm a really good takedown artist, a good one too, so he's going to respect it. I can move around. There's a good one too. And when I see my opportunity, you know, I can change levels for a takedown. Or use the one two as an entry if I'm more of a judo or an upper body takedown guy. Okay, a jab cross is something that even the most unseasoned strikers should know. But a guy like me, I've been kickboxing 18 years. It's the main part of my game. I use it all the time. And I use it mostly because I'm so much taller than most guys. When I spar Carlos, I'm using it to keep him away from me. But consequently, when I spar him, he's using that one-two to get inside. So we're using the same same technique, different uh, different. We're using the same technique, but in a different uh, context. He's using it to close the distance. I'm using it to keep the distance. And from a takedown perspective, I would be using it to blind to get in there. And obviously, I'm also using it to blind if I'm kickboxing because I'm going to come in here and chew up his legs, right? So you can use it to keep distance, close distance, or blind. The choice is yours. But having a good one too is gonna help your striking game elevate regardless.